So if you're one of those people that is embarrassed to tell others what it is you bench, this video is for you. How much you bench, bro? It's a common question we all get, right? I mean, as we're men, we're just getting started in the gym, whether we're 16 or 26, it's our first time into the gym, we immediately beeline over to the bench press, right? I know we all have done it. Guys, why do we put up so much attention on our, on our bench press? And what can we do if we're struggling to make gains? Guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the three reasons why I believe your bench press is weak. Your bench press is not growing. So if you're one of those people that is embarrassed to tell others what it is you bench, this video is for you. If you're somebody that is just getting started in your muscle building and strength training journey, and you're curious about some of the things to avoid in your training, in your progression, this video is for you. Because we all know it's something important, guys. Whether or not we wanna make jokes about it, building a big, strong, powerful bench press is important for our egos, we can admit that. But at the end of the day, guys, if you're gonna build a big, strong, massive upper body, your bench press is gonna play a fundamental role in that physical development. So let's talk about some of the reasons why your bench press isn't growing. The first reason I believe your bench press is weak is you're spending too much time and emphasis on training volume. A max bench press, how do you measure that? How do you test that? With a single lift, right? A single rep. Think about the strongest people in the world, power lifters. When they go to compete, do they compete against a guy that can do the most reps or the guy that can do the most weights for 20 reps? No, pure strength is measured in a single repetition. But if all you're doing in your training is sets of eight, sets of 15, sets of 20, nobody cares about what your 20 pound rep max is. The question I asked at the beginning is how much you bench, bro? I'm talking about a single rep. So if you're not spending time training in strength training ranges, four reps, six reps, even utilizing singles at certain points within your training, why would you believe that if you went to max it out, you would be good at it? So if our, if our, if our bench isn't growing, if we're struggling to gain strength in our, in our press, we gotta spend some time developing strength in our press. And those strength building rep ranges are in the lower tier, four to six. So think about it. Are you spending too much time training volume right now? Are you spending too much time in the 10 to 12, 15 rep ranges? And I'm not saying that there's not a place for those. There 100% is. But if you're fully gonna develop the strength, if you're fully gonna maximize your lifting potential with a single lift, a single rep, you gotta start training in those rep ranges. So start using four reps, start using six reps, start utilizing doubles and triples, and every once in a while, test your max. But do it in a progressive way, do it in an intentional way, of this is a part of my workout. Not just I'm gonna do three sets of 225 for 10 reps, then I'm gonna see what my single rep is. No, today's workout, we're doing six reps. We're doing four reps, we're doing three reps, two reps, and then we're gonna finish with a single. So there's a different periodization model. It's a different approach, it's a different way that we look at our training. But I believe one of the first reasons why your bench press is not growing, your bench press is weak, is because you're spending too much time on volume training. Now the second reason why your bench press is weak because you're not training in the full range of motion. I know it without even knowing you. You probably go where things are easy. And for most of us with a bench press, it's easy kind of in that mid range, right? It's hard to lock out at the end of every rep and then complete a full rep. It's hard to go all the way down where the bar touches your chest and then get it back up. It's very easy to work in that 80 to 20% range, you know, leaving the 20% at the top and leaving the 20% at the bottom. You know why? Because that's where you're strongest. It's where all muscles are strongest, in the mid range. But true strength is built through an entire rep, through the entire range of that motion. 
So how can you, how can you use this in your training? Use lockouts. Literally train just the top 30% of the movement. Obviously you don't want a spotter to do something like this. Same thing with the, with the bottom half of the range. Train yourself just in this lower stretched position. Once again, done under safe circumstances, done using a spotter. But if you're having trouble building strength and all you're doing is working in the part of the muscle where you are already strong, then yeah, the outcome is gonna be not building your maximum strength. So the second reason why I believe you guys are struggling to build your chest or why your bench press is weak is because you're not fully training the entire range of motion and you're relying on using only the parts where you're strong. And the third reason guys, and this is something that I'm a big proponent of and, and I talk a lot about here on every video that I've been shooting with, with the Team Air Critical Bench over the last years. It's your exercise execution. It's poor, it's sloppy. Guys, exercise is a skill. It's an acquired skill over time. And if we don't look at it that way, if how can I not just improve my strength, but how can I improve my execution of the exercises that I'm utilizing to build my strength, then we're missing a, a, a very important part of the puzzle here, a very important ingredient in the recipe is how well are we performing the exercises that we're doing. Somebody that's a true master of execution, somebody that's a true master of the bench press, going up against somebody that is maybe 30% stronger but has poor mechanics, in the long term, this guy's gonna win. Not just from a longevity health standpoint, but think about all the different things that are moving, all the different muscles that are being recruited, all the different joints that are firing, all the different fibers that are incorporated in a bench press. You obviously have your chest, it's a major part of it. But then you have your delts, you have your shoulders involved in the movement. You have your triceps. You have your lats, your back is slightly involved in it if you can fully engage and lock that in. Now if you're taking it even a step deeper, you're driving through your heels, your glutes, hamstrings, quads, all activated, core, engaged. Literally, if you wanted it to, it could become a full body movement. But somebody that understands that, and is fully maximizing that, and is using every muscle in their body to push that bar, are they gonna be able to move the weight, more, more, bar, more weight on the bar than the guy that is maybe just using his chest to push the bar 100%. So there's a lot of cues, there's a lot of execution, shoulder blades locked in, core engaged, hips uh, and glutes tapped into the pad, feet locked in, driving through the floor. Shoulders below the chest, we want our chest elevated. We don't want to be pressing from here, we want to be pressing from here. Powerful position. Arms locked, triceps firing up. But guys, if you got poor exercise execution, then obviously the outcome is gonna be poor as well. So the three reasons, once again, why, is, why, is, why your bench press is weak and it is not growing, is you're spending too much time on volume training, not putting not enough emphasis on the actual strength building portion of what you're doing. You're using limited range of motions. You're only working where it's easy for you right now. No growth comes out of anything that is easy. And thirdly is your exercise execution is poor. If you could fix those three, starting with the exercise execution first, then improving your range of motion, which is really tied together, and then beginning to work in strength building rep ranges, not focusing only on volume. I can guarantee you with time, with commitment, with consistency, you'll watch those numbers go up. And as that bench press number increases, your body will begin to show it. All right, guys, really hope you enjoyed that video. Really hope that maybe provided a different level of insight and perspective on why you've been struggling to build up your bench and why your bench press is weak. Now, if you're looking for some help, if you're looking for some tactics and strategies, guys, I have a free gift for you here today. One of our first reports ever that we put together was the seven ways to increase your bench press. Seven ways to increase your bench press. Obviously eliminating these three errors that we talked about today and then adding these seven strategies in is what you're gonna need to fully maximize your potential as a presser. So click that first link down there in the first pinned comment below. Enter your email address, we'll send a report over you guys right away. But these are time tested and proven strategies to increase your bench press 
to build bigger pecs, to build a more impressive and intimidating physique, but more importantly, guys, how to begin to get those numbers on the bar up to where you can be proud of what you're doing. So hit the first link down there in the seven ways to increase your bench press. But Frank Rich from Critical Bench, guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll see you in the next one.